I am Dr. Brenda Kahn from the Veterinary Channel. The topic for today is acute kidney failure in cats. After watching this presentation, we recommend that our veterinary students get familiar with the etiology, diagnosis, and treatment of acute renal failure in cats. After this presentation, we also recommend watching our video plants that can kill your cat. Acute kidney failure in cats is the abrupt inability of the kidneys to fulfill their normal filtration functions. This condition is not the same as chronic renal disease, the more frequent type of kidney failure. Acute kidney failure results in the accumulation of toxins and other metabolic wastes in the bloodstream, as well as dehydration, electrolyte imbalances, and abnormalities in the blood's acid-base balance. Acute renal failure may be reversible if detected early and aggressively treated. Senior cats are more likely to develop acute renal failure. Acute kidney failure symptoms may include sudden anorexia, inability to eat, listlessness, vomiting. The vomited material may contain blood, diarrhea that may contain blood as well, a weird breath odor, and convulsions. Particular cats urinate more regularly than others, while others may not produce any urine at all. There may be a recent history of toxin ingestion, particularly antifreeze, as well as recent trauma, surgery, or illness. When many cats arrive at the veterinary hospital, they are in shock. The veterinarian will commonly discover swollen and uncomfortable kidneys during the physical examination. A variety of factors can cause acute kidney failure. However, several of the most common causes include the following. If there is a blockage in the ureter or urethra, the cat cannot urinate. Poisoning with antifreeze, like, for example, ethylene glycol toxicity. A shock to the system. Failure of the heart. Hypotension is a term that refers to low blood pressure. Ingestion of medications such as NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or some antibiotics that might cause renal issues. Ingestion of heavy metals, bugs or snake bites. Consumption of poisonous plants, particularly lilies. Rodenticide ingestion, rat poison. Pyelonephritis, a bacterial infection of the kidney. Infectious peritonitis in cats. The diagnosis is based on the patient's medical history, clinical indicators, and blood and urine test findings. Additional diagnostic tests may include the following. Abdominal radiographs. Occasionally, a radiographic contrast or dye is used. Ultrasound of the abdomen. Aspiration with a fine needle, sampling the kidney using a long needle, and a kidney biopsy performed surgically. Treatment focuses on rapidly eliminating circulating toxins and reestablishing electrolyte balance. This treatment protocol is often achieved by intravenous fluid administration for 24 to 96 hours, 1 to 4 days. Peritonal dialysis and hemodialysis, removal of toxins from the blood, similar to what a person awaiting a kidney transplant may receive, are infrequently performed but may be accessible in your area. Assume the presence of a poison or a medication response is suspected. In that instance, it is recommended that the stomach be immediately emptied and activated charcoal administered to prevent additional toxin absorption. In cats with persistent or uncontrollable vomiting, the cat may require nutritional supplementation. Additionally, the veterinarian will propose an aggressive treatment strategy to ensure the patient's recovery from acute kidney failure is as quick as possible. For all cases of acute renal failure, the early prognosis is uncertain. If an infection is the source of kidney problems, the prognosis is better than if a hazardous chemical is a cause. The prognosis for long-term healing is dependent on the extent of renal impairment. The kidney has a limited ability for regeneration and recovery, which justifies the guarded prognosis. The veterinarian will provide a more accurate forecast to the patient's owner based on the cat's clinical signs, laboratory test findings, and other specific health conditions affecting the patient. 
Please remember to like this video so we can reach more veterinary students in underdeveloped countries. Thank you for helping us to educate the veterinarians of the future.